Hey guys, Rob from Cigar Federation here with you at IPCPR 2016. We're in the Hammer and Sickle booth with Eric Hansen. Eric, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So we've talked about the Kalanok before, and the original was the 25, correct? That's correct. And then now we've got the 50. So tell us about it. Uh, so all we did, same cigar, same size. What we did is we just took up the blended volume and the filler of the peat-fired tobacco from 25% of the filler to 50% of the filler. Now, the 25 was very approachable. John and I, we featured that on uh, Sharing Our Pairings, correct? Yep. Yeah, John's giving me the thumbs up. We do a lot of those shows, too, so I want to make sure. I know we've smoked it, but I wasn't sure we featured it. And it was really nice, very subtle, that fire, that, uh, that uh, peat fire cured flavor sure. that you're going to get out of like a Glen Livet, kind of a very simple, low level, not too overpowering. But this 50 really does take it a step up. The 50 is much more, the flavor is more powerful, it's more pronounced. Uh, you get it all the way through the smoke. There's no, there's no mistaking it. Uh, it's, a, it's similar to a, a really well peated Isla whiskey. Okay, but it's not quite that full, uh, that full peat like you get out of a Laphroaig. That's something that's coming down the line for you guys, correct? Yeah, we're talking about that later on. We wanted to get something. You know, we've had a lot of consumers that asked for us to take this up a little bit, so they like it, they enjoy it, but maybe a little bit more. So that's where we have the fifty. Nice. It's going to hit everybody. You know, just for you want know, a little bit of that uh, peat flavor all the way up. You know, to, that, to the top. That's great. Now, you know you've got some new packaging and things you want to talk about as well. We do. Uh, Kalanok's going to be simple. It's going to stay in the beautiful tin. Uh, for Hammer and Sickle, we created our first um, our first version of a cigar jar. Uh, as yeah, let's walk over there. Okay, so you were mentioning you got this, uh, your version of a cigar jar. Yeah, so we don't do, we don't do, we don't take packaging lightly. Of course, we love our cigars and we have a great factory and we do a lot with that, obviously, but we love to take packaging to a different level. Everybody can go out, find a porcelain manufacturer to buy a simple jar and maybe put their logo on it. We didn't want to do that. <laughs> so sticking with our Russian heritage, we created what, uh, what we call a museum series. This is Dome One. We'll release a new one every year. Uh, the St. Basil's, famed St. Basil's Cathedral, which is one of the world's most pronounced and known landmarks, has nine domes and two spires. So we're good for the next 11 yeah. years. Yeah, you guys are going to be busy, right? <laughs> so we have a brand plan. Uh, so we made 300 of these, and they're all hand-painted, all inset porcelain. 20 cigars come in the jar, but you can certainly retain it as a humidor, and it will come humidified. Wow, that's, and you made how many of them? I'm sorry. 300. 300. Now, what does something like this cost? Uh, so this will be $200. Okay. And, that, and that comes with the cigars? That'll come with the 20 cigars. That's actually not that bad. No, it's for, not a bad number. For, for a hand-painted... Kind of, I don't want to say one of a kind because there's you know a few of them, but pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. It's a pretty limited item at 300. That's awesome. And what cigars come in it? Uh, so we relaunched the original Moscow City Blend, and we we cave a lot of cigars. So if we release something, we'll keep a number of them, and we cave them. And so we decided, all right, let's take them out and let's use this as the vehicle to take them to market this year. So we'll have a different, um, again, a different jar every year, but the cigar will be the original Moscow Blend. Now, is everybody else picturing like this giant cave full of cigars? Because I am. You, say, you cave them. I'm thinking this, this, you've got this hole dug in this mountain and you can, there's a dragon guarding it or something. I don't know. I wish. Because <laughs> that'd be way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's just a, it's a very uniquely humidified segment of our warehouse that's locked off to everything else. We'll stick with cave. Cave Maybe sounds cool. good. Yeah, awesome. Just the technical term. Awesome. So what else? What else can we talk about? Uh, for tradition, we added a Solomon. Uh, our first uh, Figurato, which is a cool, enjoyable uh, smoke. And for Berlin Wall, we've added Box Press. Oh, great. So. Yeah, the, the Salomon's a fun size. It's, it's, for it's a, great. It, it's it's for, great. It's for a unique situation, I think, for me. But it's, it's a fun size, um, and it takes a lot to roll one of those. It takes a t uh, I didn't know until we really got into it. Uh, only very specific people in the factory can do it. Um, it takes a lot of work. Yeah. It takes an extraordinary volume of time. So, it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty elegant expression of tradition. Yeah, awesome. Well, this is great. Everything looks great. Really looking forward to trying the Kalanok. We'll get, hopefully be able to get some on uh, our pairing show as well, That'd be great. and uh, so you guys can check it out as well. Eric, Wonderful. thanks so much. No, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for checking out all of our uh, IPCPR 2016 coverage on CigarFederation.com.